Hello everyone and welcome to another hammer tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make custom textures for your map. The first thing you want to do is you want to download VTF Edit. This program will allow you to import PNGs or JPEGs or whatever type of file uh, you have and convert it to a VTF which is what Valve uses to um, for their textures. I will leave a link in the description for the download page um, and you just want to download it over here. Once you install VTF Edit and open it, you should be seeing this. So let me quickly just uh, make a texture. Now with your textures, you want to make sure they're to a power of 2, so like 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024, uh, you know, 2048. By 2048, and you could have like 2048 by 1024 if you wanted, or you know, so yeah, you can go down to like 512, 256 by 256, or 1024, or whatever you want, you know, like um, 128 by yeah, so you could just have it like this. So I'll just have 128 by 512. This will work as a texture, and even if you don't have your texture in a power of two, VTF Edit will automatically scale it to the proper size that's like the closest to your image, but I suggest if you're making your own texture to start off with something uh, of a power of two just so it doesn't get stretched. Let's just put on this, you know, uh, I don't know, a gradient from red to blue, because why not? So you can save this as a lot of things. You can save it as like um, PNGs, JPEGs. I think TGA, yeah, TGAs work. I'm not sure about TIFFs. I don't think they work. Um, so I'm just gonna name this Fade. And now open VTF Edit. So in VTF Edit, you want to just go to File and then Import because you're importing your PNG. Uh, you don't need to worry about any of this. Uh, yeah, it'll automatically resize. So you just press OK. And now your texture shall load up. So you see this is the exact texture I have in here. Now all you really need to do to make a VTF is just go save as, and you can just save this as fade. And I have this in my downloads folder, but as you can see, we have fave, fade.vtf. Now, on its own, the VTF won't do anything. All right. What you really need is you need a VMT. A valve material texture, or I don't actually know what it stands for, but uh, this defines the material of the texture and the directory that it's in. So without a VMT file, the VTF won't work, and vice versa. So if you go to uh, Tools at the top and then create VMT file, you should be able to press on Options. Now the shader really doesn't matter unless you are getting to more advanced things, but for now you want to stick with light map generic. If you want a texture that glows and like doesn't isn't affected by lighting, it's basically full bright. You want to go for unlit generic, uh, but light mapped will be affected by lighting. And vertex lit is the other one that uh, people would probably use, but um, that's just for models, so it won't work on anything else besides models. So just stick with light map generic. Surface 1, I don't know why there's two surface things, but um, maybe, I don't know, blend texture, I don't know. But you want to just go to surface 1, and this is what kind of, this is the material property, I guess, that it's going to have. So, like, if you stepped on it or shot it, it would be like a metal decal and a metal sound if you picked a metal. Or, like, um, for brick, you know, it would be concrete, or concrete is that... So I'm just going to go for, there's a default in here, because I don't know what this would be. Actually, I'm going to make this unlit generic also, because it looks like it wouldn't. So I'm just going to press create, and it should automatically create the VMT, and you just press save. And now you have your fade and your fade.vmt. Right? So now you want to go into your Gary's Mod folder, your Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod folder. You want to head down to materials in your Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod folder. So you want to head into materials. Uh, I have a lot of things here. Um, make a new folder in here and call it like your map. So mine is just the tutorial map, right? So I'm just going to call it tutorial. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but now what you want to do is in this folder, 
You want to drag in your VTF and VMT. So how this works, if you open your VMT file, you can just open this with Notepad, by the way. That's how I always do it, and it works perfectly fine. So how this works is the game will automatically read from the materials folder. So you see how this is users, Alex, download slash fade. It's automatically reading from material. So all you need to put here before the slash is tutorial. So basically how this works is the VMT is like um, pointing to the VTF and so it needs the right file directory. And the game automatically looks in material so you don't need to add materials here. So all you really need is just tutorial which is the folder it's in and then fade which is the name of the VTF. And so that's basically it all you need to know um it's pretty simple once you get to know it but for beginners you just need to like it can be a little confusing so i'm trying to explain it the best way i can but yeah that's just the base texture and without the vmt it would just show like a no texture like a missing texture um so if you have a missing texture make sure you check out your vmt because that's the main problem usually so now if i head into hammer I should be able to, let me just refresh real quick, reload, and then I'll type in fade, and see, there's my texture. So I can even show it to you now if I make a quick brush over here, I don't want it that big. Uh, let's see here. So here it is, let me just fit it to the thing so it looks fine. Um, and here's my fade texture. And you see it looks perfectly fine here and it'll show up in game like this and it will be unlit generic because so it will just glow won't be affected by lighting that's just the basics of textures textures can do a ton more than this this is just how you get your base texture in here so I'm gonna quickly show you how to make a bump map so bump maps are literally just if you don't know what a bump map is it's literally just like a normal map a normal map is just, it defines how light kind of interacts with the texture, I think. And it just makes it, so if you have an actual realistic texture, not like a fade, like for example, this wood texture, it would like show light in the kind of grain of the wood and it would look fine. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that. So let me just go to normal map generator online. I'll leave this in the description also, because this is a really useful tool. So let's see here. I'm just gonna put my texture in here. I'm just gonna make the strength really high and crap, just so you can see. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna get a normal map just so I can show you how to make a normal map. So now what you wanna do is once you have your normal map downloaded for your texture, you're gonna wanna import it and so here it is. I usually just, um, so in VTF edit, there's a, a checkbox check here for a normal map. I just check that, and then I go save as, and then um, fade underscore normal. So I just put the name of the texture and then underscore normal. It doesn't need to be like this, but that's just how you can keep your things organized. So you don't need a, uh, another VMT for this. You really just need the normal map texture because how this is gonna work you just want to put your normal in here with your other materials, so materials, tutorial, and then your fade underscore normal. And how this works is it's using the same VMT file, but it's also adding the normal map into here. So what you want to do is, I'm just going to type this in, so it's pretty simple. Just go money sign and then bump map, and then you want to put, so it's like base texture, right? So I'm just going to copy this and then do underscore normal. So it's checking for the butt map in tutorial, which is in materials tutorial, tutorial, and then fade underscore normal, which is this. So that's how you define the butt map, right? So now this should have a butt map in game. So I will also leave this in the description so you can read up on how some of these work and um, like the properties you can kind of put in your... Um, your VMT. Uh, a lot of these are, uh, I, I haven't used a lot of these, but a lot of these can in 
enhance your texture. So I believe detail is pretty cool. It's another texture that overlays on top of your texture, but it's like for more definition. So you can see here, this is the texture that'll be applied on top of this texture. And that's only when you get close to it. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it, the Valve developer community, community is really useful. It shows you how to do all of this. Um, but yeah. So I shall now compile the map and show you the texture in game. And here is the texture in game. As you can see, it's not affected by light. And uh, yeah, it's here. And it works perfectly fine. And you can see this is the material I chose, which is just default, but. Well, I hope I taught you how to make a custom texture in this tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments or join the server I have linked in the description. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye!